Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we're going to show you several TIG welding machines uh, that people have requested that we give information on. And, and we've tested them, but there's so many machines out there, you got to try to figure out why you would buy one versus the other, and why is there such a difference in price points? Well, we can't gather all the machines, but we will continue to, to put a group of them together just to show you what's, what's the comparison out there. So just want you to know that uh, you see a yellow, red, blue, and black machine here. Uh, we're going to go through some comparisons, and uh, what you're going to see is that there's numerous brands out there that we don't have here. Uh, so if you have a special request, just write in to us, and uh, we'll, we'll do a review or we'll do a test on the machine if we can find it. If it's your machine and uh, it's an oddball machine, send it in. We'll test it for you. So uh, anyway, I want to get started by, by saying this. This particular group of machines has been advertised by their manufacturer or certain companies that they're for the home hobbyist. Uh, when, and when I say home hobbyist, mercy, that goes from, from the very beginning machines that are that are $199 on up and so that's what we're going to try to describe. Now I did a show here not too long ago where I went to Harbor Freight and brought a TIG machine in and it is a home hobbyist. Uh, you know you can you can do some welding with it. It's $199. Man it's it's hard to control so I rarely bring those in anymore just because you can't do aluminum with them and you can't do thin wall material because uh, the control of the amps is just too high. So let's get started with the, the lowest price point machine that I've got in this category. And I'm going to kind of describe to you where it fits in the marketplace uh, after testing all of them. So uh, here is a home hobbyist machine, and the price point is really where we start at. Uh, so this machine right here, it's an AHP uh, Alpha TIG 200X. It's got some pretty neat features in it, and you look at it, and you go, uh, what's the cost? It's about $800. So what do you get with that, and does it have value? So let's take a look at a couple of the features on it. Does it have AC-DC? That's an important feature, because if it's got AC, you can weld aluminum. DC, you can weld everything else. Does it have a, a low arc start? Uh, what's the amperage range? Those are the critical features on it. What is the amperage range? And it doesn't have a great amperage range. It has at the high end, but at the low end, it lights off at 10 amps. Now, just know all of these machines and all of the professional machines, when they say that they light off at 10 amps or 5 or 4 or whatever, there's actually a little spike that goes up when you first initiate the arc. And that spike, you never know company to company what that spike is. So it may spike up to 20 amps, 30 amps, and come back down and level off. The best way you can tell is go to thin material and go to the edge of your material, light an arc. That's going to tell you whether it's smooth or not. So anyway, this one right here, you can, uh, you can weld aluminum. Uh, you can weld 16 gauge aluminum, not a problem. You start dropping down below that, then uh, you'll start leaving crater cracks and things like that. Now, what are the pluses and minuses? Well, it, I mean, it looks good. Uh, let's see. Let's check the weight on it. Okay, the weight on this machine is about 50 pounds. Now, I may be off by a few pounds because of the accessories. So what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Um, you know, you can look at the hertz on the machine, and this, this machine goes up to uh, 200 hertz. It, uh, it pulses at 5 hertz those aren't that important of features. So you can put a thousand hertz on there and is it something that I would use on a frequent basis? And the answer is no. So don't let that be a determining factor. Uh, duty cycle, it's advertised at 60% 200 amps. We have tested it and it, it turns out to be pretty decent. It's got a warranty of three years. Um, it runs off 115 and 220, so that's a great feature. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at the TIG torch that comes with the machine. That's critical. Then this TIG torch, and, and this is not uncommon. What you're going to find with most of the manufacturers, and certainly the imports, is they come out with what I call the club. They're, they're just very cumbersome, hard to work with, but you know they're they're easy to produce. You put it on the machine and say it's a fully accessorized machine. So it, typically you end up replacing this. There's several other things that that come with the lower cost machines that are not the greatest and. You know, one is the foot control, and uh, you've seen me on previous shows actually throw this one off the set because it's, it's just that bad. Slides around on you, and it doesn't have precision control. So just know that the price point of the machine may mean 
that you're going to have to add accessories to it to make it a good working machine. And in this particular case, it's going to cost you about 250 bucks to, to go to the add-ons, and, and they come in a kit. And the add-ons are precision torches and kits and things like that. So just know that this is an $800 machine. Uh, it is a home hobbyist machine. Once it goes into the uh, manufacturing cycle, you're going to find that people are not going to be real pleased with it because it was never intended for that. So let's jump from this machine to this one right here. And you look at that and you go, home hobbyist, AC, DC, TIG, Lincoln Electric? Are you kidding me? No, it's true. It's, it surprises me. You know, I've worked with Lincoln for, for years and years. They got a machine here that has a price point of $1,399, so under $1,400. And you go, that's just not possible. Now, you got to know that my favorite machine before they discontinued this was the Lincoln V205 ACDC. Uh, and that machine was, oh, it was around $3,700 to $4,000, but it would do everything, very precision. Uh, the DC arc starts were low amp. Uh, I, I could weld just about anything. It ran off of uh, AC, DC, 115 volts, 220 volts, beautiful machine. This is a, uh, a home hobbyist version of that. So don't think that this is gonna do the same thing. And it doesn't. It's, it's a good machine for a home hobbyist. I would even put it in a light manufacturing just because, first of all, you're dealing with Link Electric, so you know that if this burns up, if you challenge it to, to blow it up, you probably can, but they're going to replace it, and you can go just about anywhere in the country and get the replacement parts or a new machine. So uh, that, kudos to Lincoln for coming out with that. This machine does not light off at, at a very fine uh, amperage. When I say that, you can do 16 gauge, uh, not a problem. When you get down into the 20 gauge, uh, where I spend a lot of time in the thin walls, it'll just light off a little bit too hot. So again, it's a good machine. It's not a great machine. It does go up to 200 amps, but I tell you for $1,399, or $1 not a bad machine. Three year warranty, uh, let's see, the weight of this thing is 46 pounds. So yeah, you can port it around. You know, it, it, they all have pulsing features on it. This one has uh, 60 to 150 hertz on AC. You know, I like setting the machine at about 115, 120 hertz and leave it there. I rarely change that. So um, it's got pulsing on it if you want it. Rarely use the pulsing on it. So again, don't buy it for those features. Buy it because it's got good AC, DC. The, uh, the other thing to take a look at, it comes with, and I'm going to call it semi-professional accessories. And the reason I say that, it comes with a foot control. Let's call it a K870 foot control. This is the same foot control that is used on all the professional Lincoln machines. So it's got good motion to it good flexibility up and down, it doesn't snag anywhere. Now the one thing that uh, I noticed that they put on this machine, and it, it kind of surprised me, it's a pleasant surprise, but they put a, a 17 style torch on there. Well that's not uncommon at all, but in this particular case, they put a 17F or flex head. And that did surprise me because that is the, that's the cat's meow. So, they did good on that. What they didn't do is, is offer anything more than the standard components that come with that torch. So you may want to go to an upgrade and, and go to these stubby gas lens kits uh, and it shortens the torch up and gives you better gas flow. But uh, other than that, uh, pretty good and uh, great for the price point. Okay, now let's, uh, let's jump from here. We went to eight, $800 to 1399 and now we jump up to here. This here is a, a model that just came out by CK Worldwide, and it is more of a uh, you know light manufacturing category. Now the reason that it hits that category is because of the precision that you get with it, and you don't have to add any accessories to it because it's already got the professional accessories. So let's go through it real quick. This machine uh, it lights off at five amps, and it's a very very accurate light five amps. It does spike up and come back down. But uh, if you start getting into razor blade welding and things like that, tool and die welding, this will key down to that and you can just uh, light off, lay a little dab of filler and it's that precision. I can't get that with these two machines. So you're buying this for a very specific reason. You're buying it because it is an ACDC machine. It does run off 115, 220, which all of these do, uh, but it is precision. It does come 
with the flexible head. It does come with the Superflex cable. If you'll notice, it does come with the accessory kit called the Stubby Gas Lens. Now what really shows this machine off is when you get into extremely thin aluminum, and that's always difficult. How do you get a machine to light off soft when you're doing 10 thousandths thickness aluminum? This one proved that it can do it. So if you have a precision project, make sure that you step it up and you're gonna to have to pay a little extra for this. And this machine runs at about $2,100. So you can see there's quite a step up to that. Uh, let's take a look at the weight on it. Same weighs uh, 38 pounds. It also has three years uh, warranty on it. It'll pulse at 200 hertz. It'll, uh, on, on AC, it has up to 250 hertz. Duty cycle at the high end, and most of these most of these companies rate these, um, you know, conservative. It, it's at 25% duty cycle, um, you know. So just know that this starts to hit the professional level. So it covers quite a range. Again, $2,100. Um, this this one also has a foot control. That's a precision foot control. And when you look at this foot control. This is the old Miller style. Uh, I like to call it the old Miller style. It's the old box style, and it's got a uh, it's got a heel rest to it, but it also has very very fine control, very smooth action here. So uh, even though it looks old, it's it's great. It's updated. It's as good as it gets. So now let's move on to the uh, the Miller machine. It's sitting on the floor because it's a little heavier and a little bulkier. I couldn't get it up here on the table. Uh, this machine, it it actually is rated at five amps up to 210 amps. So, you know, that's quite a range. Now, the one thing I wanna mention here is every one of these machines here is inverter based. And when I first looked at this machine, it says Miller Synchro Wave 210. And I'm so used to Synchro Wave being a transformer and transformer machines in the Synchro Wave, they're just bulletproof, just, just like uh, any transformer machine. It's not a transformer. It's an inverter. So I uh, played with it, tested it, and it, uh, it has a, a, a starting range of 5 amps to 210. Again, that, that, that kind of leaves the hobbyist barely in the hobbyist range. Now you're starting to get into a little bit more professional uh, light manufacturing. So the, you're going to see it's going to hit that range a little better. Uh, it's, it's cost, and I just looked it up, it's about $2,750. So it needs to be able to do more things than, than say, this machine here. Uh, and it does. It, it has a low end. It's, uh, it's actually easy to use. Uh, it goes from 5 to 210 amps. Duty cycle, 100%. It, uh, when you're at 200 amps, it only has 20% duty cycle. So again, it's not that big, robust machine that it looks like. Now, what I did notice is it is adaptable to MIG. And yes, it's 115-220. Every one of these will run off 115, 220. Three-year warranty. Now, here's here's the kicker. It's not it's not portable. I mean, they uh, they packaged it uh, at 133.5 pounds, so it's not like you can pick it up and carry it. Uh, so you're when you buy this, you're going to buy it because it's pretty good precision, and you're going to use it in your shop primarily. Uh, so just just know that there's all these different machines out there. Anytime you get into the more professional machines, you'll see that uh, there's a little more money put into the to the torches and the cable. So it's got a it's got a pretty good cable too. It's got a nice flexible cable, and it certainly has a, a 17 style torch. It doesn't have the super accessories. It's got the standard cup, standard everything with the 17. Now something really tricky about this torch because it's a good looking torch is it's got some flat sides to it on the neck. And I was looking to see if it was a flex head because it, it actually looks like it might be a flex head. So I started to tweak it and I decided to stop. It's not a flex head. So uh, just be aware if you get that. It's not a flex head. It looks good. You can go ahead. I mean, you can always get these components for your torch, but it's, you know, it's an add-on cost to it. So uh, anyway, I just want to share all that with you and uh, group these up so I can give you the highs and the lows of the machine. So uh, if you have any questions, get a hold of well.com. We'll, uh, we'll give you the facts, the sheets, uh, and you can go online and pick out the same information. Uh, anyway, that's it for now on these four machines. I want to thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.
To stay up with the latest TIG welding technology and education, subscribe by clicking the button below.